should be going, which I should probably get the game up and running. Uh, why can I never find the icons of my taskbar when I know where they are and they've never changed in like 10 years? You think I would know my computer at this point? Go. And. Do, 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 do. Right. Thankfully, I, I have actually begun used to doing some like pre audio testing, so I know my voice actually sounds co uh, good compared to the game volume. But yeah, welcome to The Enchanted Cave 2, which, as I mentioned in my Discord alert, is basically like a roguelike RPG. And one of, one of the kind of fun things about this particular game series is that the first game was just a Flash game. On, and I think it first came out on the, the website congregate.com with a with a K at the front. Back when that was actually like the the, the golden hub of Flash gaming. There, there were a lot of good games that came out back then, but yeah, the Enchanted Cave 2, the sequel to that, actually made its own basically like uh, kind of Steam store page and stuff like that. So I'm actually kind of eager to play this. I don't remember if I've even played the second version or not at all. So I don't remember seeing any like previous playtime on my Steam page for it. But yeah. And also, since it's a, Steam, uh, it's a proper Steam game, I can actually tab out and read the description on the Steam page without losing the music. So, ah. Alright. Okay, probably the very the only paragraph from the intro is very short, so I'll probably read a little bit more than that. Delve into a strange cave with a seemingly endless supply of treasure, strategically choosing your battles to gather as much treasure as possible. Find rare artifacts and traverse the skill tree to become your choice of a mage, warrior, alchemist, or mix of skills. Craft potions or enchant your equipment with ingredients, and discover secret areas. But be careful, because this cave has, has oddly become quite dangerous lately with more explorers going missing every day. So yeah, uh, I don't really know how to describe the gameplay other than just like a roguelike RPG, because it, it is kind of turn-based, for the most part if I remember correctly. Also, I need to turn the controller on, that would probably help. Also, maybe death bomb down on my side. Okay, still works. So, let us begin. Oh, there are different game modes. The story. Explore, or explore, loot, and learn the secrets of the mysterious ancient cave. Monster's Lair. Conquer a cave packed with tons of monsters of many different types. The Labyrinth. Explore a dark maze of winding tunnels. Start the game with ten magic pickaxes. I don't know what those are. I'm guessing they just, like, uh, get, get rid of, like, one block of terrain, probably. Green Goose Quest. Wait, what? No longer the weakest baddie, this brave green goo aims to be the strongest hero. Can only equip swords and helmets. So he's wielding the sword with his mouth. Which, uh... I'm, I'm kind of curious about that one. But, we are going to stay with story mode. Because, no, story mode. Choose your adventurer. Oh, that's, that's a demon. I thought it'd be like a lizard man. Uh, what are they? Okay, they, the only non-human is the demon, apparently. I realize there'd be so much, much of a selection. Okay, I've definitely not played this before. This is actually my first playthrough. So, an experienced adventurer has become enamored with the Enchanted Cave's mystery. What's the HP range? So, it goes up to 600. Then down is 460. Can I do this to... Okay, it doesn't tell me what they are. So we have attack, defense, and magic. Those are relatively self-explanatory. That one's pretty much, yeah, th about as well-balanced as you can possibly get. Uh, I'm guessing the, the blue shard is for, like, the MP, basically. That's definitely a spellcaster, yeah. Um... No, just because it's the, it's the only non-human character we'll play as this guy. So, basically no defense, but a lot of attack. A demon outcast searching the cave for those that played a part in his exile. Also known as VENGEANCE! I got the one more thing I need to put up from, from my side. That's not what I wanted. Wait, why is it not showing? There we go. Oh, please don't lie. I just do this. Welcome, explorer! After a day of travel and a restful night at the end, you're ready to explore the enchanted cave you've heard so much about. Click to move to that location, or use the WASD or arrow keys to move. Or a controller. Feel free to go into the cave now, or talk to the citizens of the town first. I'm still gonna call this a lizard man, I don't care what the game says. Uh, let, yeah, let's figure out what's going on in the town first. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's a run button. 
Bad news, I tell ya. I ain't going in that cave. Not worth it. The ring you found is enough. Let's just go home. Just one more run, Marsha. I know I'll be fine. I actually do need to minimize this because I'm getting the visual feedback loop, which is not pleasant. Alright. Dan won't let me go in the cave until I'm older. Okay, just one more age. Hey, you a collector? This museum can be useful for you to store old artifacts. The entrance is right above me. You know, in, like, actually in the world, it wouldn't be above him, it'd be to his left. That, 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 I don't know why, but that, that, that kind of hurts me a bit. Sometimes people never make it out of this cave. You look like you should leave things to capable explorers like me. What? I just don't want you to die is all. I mean, I am technically a demon. Hey there. Haven't seen you before. Or haven't seen you here before. Do me to tell you how this cave works? Yes. So, there's a ton of treasure in here. Thing is, I went too fast. Uh, I should probably be able to restart that. Alright. Thing is, the layout is different each time you go in, and there are never stairs leading back up. The only way to leave is with an item called the Escape Wings. Treasures are randomized, but it usually doesn't take many floors to find some. Most items you find, like equipment, potions, and crafting ingredients in the cave are cursed and are destroyed when you escape. Artifacts, items with a golden border, stat gems, gold, XP, I like the sound of stat gems. Basically everything else you keep forever when you escape. That's the important stuff. Best of luck to you. Take a look at this music. Oh, it's not even an actual, like, house. If you'd like to keep old artifacts without clogging up your inventory, the museum is the solution. You can swap out artifacts in your collection anytime you visit. Which we currently have none, so... Yeah, good to know that's there. I'm guessing this is a tavern. All kinds of people here today. Nobody knows why that cave is enchanted. It just doesn't sit right with me. 28. That's the deepest floor I've gotten to. <laughs> okay. Leave me alone, I'm drinking. It's all about careful thinking, you know. Not worth it to kill every monster. Lies and slander. This helmet? Yep, found it in the cave. Pure silver. There's so many interesting items in there. So much treasure in there. It must be infinite. I hear it gets really dangerous at the floor 40. Or flirty, if you will. But they always disappear. There's a way to keep them, I wonder. Finally got here. I can't wait. Alright, this is gonna be great. I'm guessing there's not going to be too much of, like, actual NPC interaction unless, like, special stuff goes on, so I may as well just pocket it for us now. I think that's about... No, I can this way. No, I can't. Okay, no. Okay, apparently that's everything in the town. I wonder if that gets expanded later on for any reason. Can I read this? Missing this month? Zero. Well, that's a good start. <clears throat> well, it's probably one of those things of, you know, um, like, or... Like, days since last injury, zero. Because it could be like the very first uh, day of the month. You're a new face. Need any info or supplies for your, for your run? I'll talk first. Let me give you a tip. Don't fight every enemy. It's not worth it. I mean, that's what the guys before said. Want another tip? Sure. Actually, let me make the window a little bigger if I can. I may have found a glitch. Although I don't know if this is actually helpful. But yeah, I wanted to try to make the game window a little bigger so I could read the text easier. Yeah, I... I... Damn it, my speedrunning speed portion is already giving me ideas. I would not be surprised if that, that's like a possible speedrun trick. Anyway, let's see what the shop has. Swipe along a list of items to quickly scroll, or swipe along a list of items to quickly scroll the displayed items. Got potions. Oh, so that's money. No, no, that is magic. I, I was blind. Okay. Uh, magic pickaxe destroys one wall, then breaks. Sounds about right. At least it's a, it's a pair of, of uh, pickaxes. Butter knife. Spreads butter. You might want a better weapon. Kitchen knife. Chops up veggies well. Monsters, not so much. 
the sun out of your eyes. How much you syndicate? <laughs> Basically just prevents nakedness. Makes you immune to the naked condition. I smell a bit like manure. Okay. I'm not gonna worry too much about like starting gear. Oh, there's actually little like tears on there. Why there's tears for those and then just regular stats for everything else. Look at delicious mushrooms. Oh, they're like consumables. At least how they are. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll not worry about those for now. We'll just go inside. Oh, there's a crafting thing. Create potions at any time by combining two ingredients. Only one property from each ingredient can be used. When at a forge, you can enchant equipment using one or two ingredients plus some MP. Yeah, we got absolutely nothing right now. Let's just dive right in. Some money, that's a lot of baddies. Okay, we haven't triggered them yet. Actually, yeah, the enemies do not move in this game. They only they only interact with you when you move actually into them, I think. So, for example, yeah. I kinda wish I went a little bit slower so I could actually watch like the stats go through. That's probably like my one critique so far. Oh, they were doing a lot of damage to me. Well, I suppose I have 570 HP. Yeah, we do get experience, and I assume we do keep our levels when we leave the dungeon. That's a shiny. Ooh! Spark ring. It is permanent. A flimsy old, old ring with a fire enchantment. Cool. So we do extra fire damage, I guess. Day one. The fools have no idea of the power in this. Idiots with their morals. Degrading humanity to a worthless state with no concept of true knowledge. I like to study on my own in this cave. It is dark and cold, but empty and dry. I see a lot of potential here. And Pations. Oh, I already read that. Uh, you're hiding loot. Ooh, level up. Attack, MP, HP, defense, or magic. Uh, honestly, I think defense is probably gonna be a good thing right now. Because we don't have a lot to start with. We have skill points. Uh, not what I wanted to use, but we still... Whoa, Eddie. There you go. There's your bed, Eddie. Okay, so... Okay, it's not letting me... Wait, what? Okay, I don't know why I can't menu all of a sudden. I mean, I was in the menu before. Oh, unless... The button change for some reason? Okay, so... Yeah, let's equip a shield. <clears throat> and Tiny Tooth, I think, is like a consumable, basically. Uh, craft, loot, bestiary. Yeah, why can't I... Hmm. Settings... Taking breaks only, say data's over in non-death. Alright, fair enough. Uh, there's no control setup. I'm not sure why I can't get to my, uh... Yeah, is that the Y button? Oh! Okay, it's just basic stat bombs. Uh, let's go ahead and increase... Let's defense again. Okay, that's actually a pretty good buff then, because, like, two points is already five less damage. Okay, so the, the egg Y only worked because I was in the middle of picking up an item. Like, do, like, a quick equip. A little bit of extra there. Uh, how do I... Oh, here. Yeah, I picked up something else as well. Oh, metal ring. That is more defense. I have quite a bit of defense now. Oh, nice. Just instant kill. Ooh, nice. Sturdy boots. Okay, more defense. Money. Oh, no, it's a kill there. Ooh, magic pickaxe. Uh, let's start getting some more attack this time. Just to make sure we can kill these guys in one hit. Old gloves. Yeah, we're getting a decent bit of equipment for everything. 
the magic pickaxe isn't of much use right now. I don't see anything special there. I'll still try to get at least some experience. Actually, no, let's level up before we go down the floor. Floor sweeper. Ah, uh, yeah, let's get more attack. Okay, I'd use the uh, D-pad for this one. Okay, so I haven't actually picked it yet. Uh, heal some health, okay. Actually, kind of feel like I should probably get that first. There we have at least some kind of durability on inside here. Uh, well, let's... Attack, defense, and experience. Is that two attack? Oh, one attack, okay. It seems like quite a bit of skills, actually. I'm assuming each one is just one SP, so yeah, every level we get, we get better stuff. I'm hoping the experience is relatively permanent. Wanna run away? Just press the Y button. You can then cancel with B. I don't need to run away from, from mice. I think I already have old gloves, yeah. It's still two hits on those guys. I think we already have the trousers. Do a heal and see if we get like any passive MP regen. I don't think we do by default, but it's good to experiment more if we have the uh, opportunity. Escape wings! Hell yeah. And after we're about to die, we can just not. Oh, just straight up defense. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot less damage now. Bro, I had it. Do we already have a hat? I didn't mean to use that, but okay. Uh, hat. We do not have a hat yet. I was hoping it would actually appear in our sprite, but apparently not. That's unfortunate. Okay, so there's actually an attack speed to worry about, too. I got like three attacks into that thing's one. Okay, those spiders are actually kind of tough. Uh, we have a... Well, let's get better defense, because we're already going to be probably needing it. Uh, what else can we get here? I assume that's like a fire spell. Yeah, flame strike. Add fire damage to your next attack. Yeah, not too worried about that. Uh, let's get more defense. Can we loop back around with this? Yes, we can. Cool. Critical chance 2%. And what does this give? Attack 3. Uh, let's go to increase our uh, XP rate further. Explore. More max HP. I'll take that. I'm starting to assume that these stat gains are actually not going to be permanent. I imagine it's getting a little too e easy in the early sections otherwise. Unless we get to keep like a fraction or something. Okay, can we do anything with the, with the this thing yet? Uh, equipment. Okay. okay, so that's how we... Okay, so... Okay, so I'm guessing if we ever turn the equip, we can't select it. What do we got? XP bonus and HP. And... Yeah, let's get more attack. Well, that's actually not that much more attack. How much more for HP? Oh, that's not even a lot of HP either. Yeah, let's do that. We get a little XP and a little more attack. Then get to the new pants. There we go. Now we're a little bit better at what we do. Kitchen knife. 
Okay, that's better than what we have. Flank shield, we already have that. Oh, we, okay, so we have to go back a long way around. I kinda wish you could just, like, decline to go down and actually still use the stairs as, like, a regular walking point. And we're out of MP. That's, a uh, a thing. Monsters from here on will start to deal more damage. Setting the battle speed to slow in the settings will give you more time to think during battles. Oh, there's actually a setting for that. Uh, okay. I still wish you could actually, like, choose, like, like when each action takes place. That'd probably be a little better in my eyes. That's uh, one more defense since it does say they're starting to get a little stronger. More tiny tooth. How much do you do? You're slow, but also kind of tanky. Leather vest. Yeah, that's a decent bit more. Snail shell. We got a secret. Magic. Tiny tooth. Scrap of rusted steel. Hide helmet. And that's a permanent too, nice. Did extra MP? Oh no, that's an element defense, okay. Day three. After exploring more of the cave, I'm becoming more pleased with this, this decision. There are several natural creatures like rats and bats around to experiment with, and the farmer a few miles to the west has plenty of food in his fields for now. Oak shield. I don't think it's going to be that much better. Yeah, it's three, well, it's still better. Really shouldn't complain about that. Mage skirt. Not too fashionable, but magical. Okay, we got attack, or magical attack, and defense, and elemental defense. Nice. Uh, we lose one attack and one XP, but eh. That's actually not that much of a loss, in my opinion. Money. <laughs> Two damage. Ha! Zero. I am immune. Actually, a health potion is not a bad thing right now. I want to try to make my first uh, delve down as fruitful as possible. I really don't want to fight you. I could use the magic pickaxe on that rock there to be able to move forward. I think I will, actually. Okay, I like how it actually lets you select the specific square rather than just being like right in front of you. Like morals. Oh, it actually damaged. Rusty Iron Sword. Which, no, two more damage. Not bad. Uh, I think we, yeah, we already went up there. Money. Alright. Let's, let's take out the mushrooms down there since they're fairly un, are unharmful. And then we'll move on. We don't have any more MP, so we can't do any more heal. Uh, do... Weaknesses. Which I should probably know for future. Iron Chossy. Uh, no, we got better. That's a good chunk of equipment down there, actually. Hello. Is it worth the damage? We're gonna take a good chunk from the goblins. Okay, we can get most of it by fighting one goblin and one spider, so I think we can make this work. We're also not taking as much damage as we were before. Shield. I think we already have a three tier shield. Yeah. Alright, what else did we get? Got the chassis, not worried about those. Okay. I think we just got more, like, materials. Wait, fuzzy? A strange over fluff emitting dark energy. Well, that's a thing. Defense. Yeah, 
down. Want to view the map or enemy stats with the gamepad? Click either or either control stick to open a menu with useful actions. Okay. Okay, that is actually helpful. Gives me a much better way to indicate like what the relative strengths are. That one does have elementals. Which actually is, okay. That's earth elemental attack. No elemental attack, but he is weak to wind. Dark attack, weak to fire. Okay. That is good to know. There's also view map, which probably isn't gonna be as useful. View active effects. Okay, none. Nothing good over there. <coughs> Get both of these from this guy. Small health potion. Still... Yeah, the amount of enemies you have to get through to get anything useful is not really worth it. I think I will go for you, though, because you look, you look like you have a decent chest. Damn. Leather vest, which I think is up by one. No, it's the same. We already have. Damn it. Oh, we got the experience, at least. I have any attack offense right now for elementals. I do have fire, which would actually be even worse against them, so never mind. But morals, rusty gauntlets. That is improving. Fire dead. Well, we're definitely not fighting the salamander. Oh, uh, let's go with. Let me get more XP. Chunk of Amber. Uh, you're weak to wind, so the fire's not gonna do too much extra. Hmm. There's a stat gem up there. Yeah, we haven't explored anything over here yet. Oh, another stat gem. But it's really nothing else there, so we'll just kind of skip that. And if we're going to try to fight a goblin anyway, we make some, or Miz will make it somewhere that's going to be helpful. Magic. Yeah, so far I've not really found a good reason to try to use magic. Especially with the uh, unrecovering MP. Fancy chest. Shiny steel gauntlets. That's cool. More defense. Uh, let's go defense, because again, everything's starting to hit harder. We don't have a lot of health left. You can start future runs at any previously visited shop. Okay, cool, we got a checkpoint. Sometimes it's still best to start from an earlier shop to allow you to find equipment, however. If you haven't already, you should unlock the heal spell in your skills. It's very useful. Okay, she says the same thing. Shop. Uh, that's actually a lot of money for potions. That's not worth it. Ooh! Okay, that actually does a decent chunk of damage. And gives defense. Wow, okay. I should probably switch to that. Uh, me. Nah. Spikes are actually useless. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and get the uh, the sword. Because that was a good chunk of damage plus defense. And it's relatively affordable. So, do do do. Oh, okay. That's how I want to do it. Yeah, look at that damage increase. And defense. Can I sell stuff? I can sell. All unequipped, non-artifact equipment is classified as junk. Don't click on an item to remove it. Uh, do I want to keep any of this? Probably not. Yeah, we're good. 
Oh, okay, so we basically got that for a slight profit. Uh, yeah, we should, well... Okay, do compare. That's not enough to be worth the money. That one's probably not gonna be worth it either. Yeah, we'd actually lose on that. Yeah, I don't think the armor's gonna do as much benefit to actually improve at this point. I guess that kind of could, because it also gives us some elemental defense. Maybe. Yeah, well, I just mage sandals. Sell again. Yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, actually. Let's unequip the swords we can enchant it. What can we enchant it with? Actually, defense would be really nice right now. Yeah, let's do defense there. I can't do it twice, apparently. We need to make two different ones, so we'll do the other defense boost. Plus some cold attack. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, we need MP. Never mind. I forgot about that. What are you? Weak to light. That's a good chunk of attack. Can I select myself? No, I can't. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about you. Tiny spine. Mining helmet. I think we already have something at least equivalent. Uh, yeah. Loot what we can. More fuzzy. A secret down there. I have to screw the money at this point. Take the stat in the secret. Oh, that's actually a lot less damage we're taking, too. We're not doing a lot of damage, actually, which is unfortunate. Consider healing or using the escape wings. If you die, you lose all your progress this run. What can we get here? We can get a decent bit of stuff. Another helmet. A mage spirit. I think we already have that. Yeah, we already have that. What's the story? Day 12. Just as I expected. After a few failed attempts, I've refined the spell to utilize the soul of a rat to transform its bones to a mostly pure gold substance. It's like I hold the key to nature itself. Necromancy must hold so many more wonderful secrets. Uh, since we're here, let's go ahead and get the free downstairs to see if there's anything nearby we can... Well, I can actually beat you up. We have plenty of HP. Oh, there's like a couple bunnies in my yard. Nice. They're, f they're frolicking in plain. Shiny steel gauntlets, which we already have. Uh, yeah, we can still do a little bit more. We can take you out. Shiny spine, rusty gauntlets, and some money, some more money. Get some free downstairs. Uh, money, and then that's probably gonna do it for us. Yeah, let's let's reset. Summary of loot from this run. Spark ring, hide helmet, mage skirts, fire dagger, and shiny steel gauntlets. Oh, so the, the stat gems are permanent, I think. Or, okay, maybe... Wait, XP, level ups, gold difference, new shops. I need to find out just how much of this is actually permanent, because if, if all the stat gems are permanent, then this will actually definitely make things easier in future runs. Uh, are you going to say the same thing as before? Okay, yeah, same thing. I think I'd use any button to mash through everything. So we already have that. Oh! That's how we get skills, okay. And uh, then, yeah, let's go ahead and just buff up magic more. Triple chance. Oh, not magic, attack. So those are all the, the same, like, super value. Alright. So yeah, that's basically everything we can do for here. Uh, we. Yeah, let's go ahead and put a the other uh, glove in here. Okay, I like how it's also kind of like a completion deck, too. This shows you, like, how many slots there are for each one. Cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know if actually talking to anybody here has any effect on anything, so we'll just go back in. 
Yeah, let's start on the uh, zero floor again so we can get more like equipment and money built up. Ah, uh, we do have. I need to unequip the sword first. Wait, I thought he started with. Okay, I just didn't get equipped with it at the start, which seemed weird, but okay. Can I actually enchant, like, the old ones? I can. Although, apparently, I have no materials. Okay. So, we're not doing that. I'm just, like, trounce it. Oh, wow. Just instant murder. And it's still free experience, too, which is a fun bit. I do kind of wish there was more of like a run button, so for like the easier floors you move around faster. I wonder if there may be like an equipment or a spell later on that does that. Eh. I guess you do kind of want to save your MP for possible crafting later on. As well as just using it for nothing but healing. Okay, no, don't, don't take any damage from that, there's no worry about that. So we have to actually let's do this. More crit chance and more attack. Let's annihilate everything. Existence for these enemies is forbidden. Ooh, double secret entrance. I don't know if there's any actual difference between those two. Or if they're functioning the same. Hey, we got our escape wings. So we, we need boots, and actually we do need armor. We need boots and shield. Actually, I'm guessing if you, like, the first piece of equipment you find for an unequipped slot, I'm assuming it automatically equips it for you. But we'll try to keep an eye out for that later on and see if we can test that. Ooh, more health potions. Okay, so we do have to still manually equip the other gear. So we still have a shield to equip. I'm willing to trade 6 or HP for that particular fight. At least for now. Armor trousers. I think we already, yeah, we got the, the relic item so far. Ooh, I like those crits. Definitely more interested in getting more crits. Cause that is a nice feeling to just go through those guys like immediately. We got plenty of healing to start with at least, which is nice. More materials. Magic pickaxe, okay. Stat gems. Snail shell. Pike helmet. Is that actually? I think that's actually new. No, I guess we already had one. Never mind. Well, something we can store inside the museum later on. Uh, let's start increasing defense again, because I don't like the idea of taking damage. If we can avoid it. And that didn't actually help with spiders. That's great. Um. Snail shells. 
Yeah, fighting two goblins isn't worth the, the small money bags. We'll just skip that one. Uh, well, there's a stat gem, so that kind of makes it worth it. Ice HP isn't bad. Considering how many we start with, it's not all that useful either, but it's not really a bad thing. I don't think we're just over time, it'll be enough to kind of be useful. Do we have clothes yet? Yeah, we do have clothes. It's the shield we're still missing. Sword. Yeah, until we see something significantly stronger than the, our fire dagger, we're probably just gonna stick with that for a good while. What color is that? Oh, attack, okay. Uh, there's a chest up there. There's only one modestly strong enemy, so yeah, that's worth it. Mining helmet. Yeah, move on. That's a green chest. We want a green chest. Because green is best color. Oh, magic potion. Oh, that'll actually be good for later on healing for the end. Wooden quartz ring. That's a new one. Three magic, two defense. Well, the defense is nice. Okay, they, they definitely go. Ooh, man, a spark ring. Which we already have, but. You know what? Okay, I'm not sure if the flame counts as extra damage. Well, maybe that's something we should test later on when we go back to the Salamanders. I don't know if, like, equipping less fire rings does more damage. Since they do resist it. I don't know if it does necessarily, like, less than base damage if you have it equipped. Ooh, health potion. We got a lot of health this run. Uh, not worth it for those fights. Okay, here's our, our first test. So we have the... Yeah, we have 10 attack for element. So we attack you, 17. The average of 17. If we unequip the fire rings... Okay, so we actually... Oh no, it is the basically the same amount of damage. Okay. So there's there's no no uh, penalty for attacking with the enemy... Or, or attacking for an element that they're resistant to. It just doesn't give you any bonus. Uh, yeah, we'll take the breastplate. We'll get the three extra defense. Another magic, which eh. Oh, and one shot those guys. Nice. Oh, I'd actually need to use the magic pickaxe to get through that, that area. How many damage we take for, for fighting this one? Okay, that's actually a lot of damage from the Salamanders. We'd kind of like to avoid that if we can. Amber. Yeah, we're kind of screwed as far as like trying to explore places. I don't want to fight you. You're not worth it. I think these guys do. Okay, nine damage. I can accept that. All right, move down. In fact, we should probably just start using some of our healing at this point. Alright, first uh, sell all of our junk, which I think we should be able to sell everything. Wait. I never really actually equipped the shield. That's on me. Yeah, we should be good to sell all that stuff. Do have anything good to sell? We have more broadswords. Which, if, it seemed like they did less damage before, but I think it's just because of the extra fire damage we were getting on some enemies. Yeah, let's, let's get one of these. And we don't really need to pick out anything else for equipment from this spot. Yeah, main channels are key. Spiky ring. Actually, compare the sandals. I think they actually work better. Yeah, they're actually better overall, because we also get some elemental defense. Uh, we already have our full set of rings, so I'm not worried, worried about that. Uh, let's try to forge... Something better with our weapons. Broadsword. Over here. Defense. HP. Defense. Attack. Defense. I'm gonna get some ice attack. That'd be kinda nice. Our defense. Actually, our fire defense would be good right now. Actually, oh no, uh, we only do one of each type. Okay, we'll do that. Chant. Then we also had Mage Sandals. Re 
least at that. Yeah, we'll do all the defense for this one. There we go. And then we can equip them. How much does the magic potion restore? Only 10? That's kind of pathetic. Well, we should be better off than these guys now, at least. Nice. Now we got a spiker ring anyway. You can hurt me. I mean, these guys can't either. Oh, they can. Oh, yeah, I think it's because I have the, I have the uh, fire. Wait, no. Do they do elemental attack? They do not do elemental attack. Oh, it must be maybe like the dark energy that's doing like the extra damage to me. Maybe that's what it is. I have, I have no fire defense, actually. Huh, I thought I had fire defense. Uh, you... Okay, so you're resistant to wind, not worried about that. Yeah, how much do you actually do to me, and how long is it safe to take you out? Nine. Okay, that's actually not too bad, overall. Uh, let's go ahead and get our defense level. We have to go for this one for this tier. Actually, what do these do? Potion duration. Giant potion efficiency. So I'm assuming that means like potions actually heal for more then. That actually might be kind of worth it to explore. Some more money. More potion duration. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not worried about the magic casting because MP is like too valuable right now. Uh, let's just keep going down the, uh... Oh, wait, we have six skill points. Okay. Uh... Two, three, four, five, six. We could get more money, which we don't really need yet. Or we could get, like, 15% more potion efficiency. Which, 15% of 75, that'd be, like, 15 points, so 90 total per potion. Not really worth it yet, in my opinion. Let's do this. Wait, gotta do this first. Then this. That's three defense, I'm assuming? Yeah, three defense. Uh... Yeah, let's focus, try to focus on some more defense right now. Bronze ring. Okay, how bad are the salamanders now? Fifteen. Okay. That is doable. actually fine with. Let's go ahead and get the items in there. Rusty iron boots. Uh, yeah, the only thing we can really super improve right now is gonna be our shield. Do we have any shields we can replace? No, we don't. Yeah, shield is gonna be our best uh, equipment increase from this point. I'm still not keen on the salamanders yet. I'm also starting to assume that you only get stat points like once per level. So you can't like go down on a future trip and then just get them again. I haven't seen any stat gems in a bit. Well, like, I, I think we've seen like one or two, but I might have just skipped those before. Okay, so we take about 30 or 35 damage from the salamanders right now, which could be a lot worse. Uh, not worth for that kind of chest. Damage play isn't worth it for that bag down there. Yeah, just grab this, we'll be done. Oh, nice. Oh, I see a red chest. Another helmet. Quality work boots. Uh, not worth it right now. Yeah, well, once we start our future runs, that'll actually be useful, but for now, no value. We still have that magic pickaxe to use at some point. Iron helmet. I think we, yeah, we have like a kind of specialty one. Uh, we can go for one. 
Actually, they do a lot, lot less. Oh, I can dodge. Cool. I did not realize there was a dodge chance. Uh, there is enough possible stuff down there. Plus, it's only like the really, one really strong enemy. Actually, yeah, those guys die pretty quickly now. Free XP. Oh, okay, that one was free. Oh, then we got the slime up here. We take like maybe 18 damage. Yeah. Magic potion, yay! I guess it does let us do a, a heal. Why are we spawning there? Okay, we can't get around. Soldier Chaucy. Uh, we already have like better for that, I think. Yeah, we got better. Better in the form of, like, other stats as well. Ooh, you're new. Cave Scorpion. Does fire and earth damage. Resist earth. Uh, worth 20 XP. Okay, it is not worth the war to fight that thing right now. It is worth it to fight you, though. Another magic pickaxe. Yeah, I'll still save that for one. is actually a more valuable item. Yeah, we do need the shield. More mage sandals. Oh, we got that money at least. Yeah, I'm still not really seeing anything. Ooh. Okay, I see the shiny in the wall. That's not what I meant to use. I'll get this since that's right there. Stuff, iron breastplate, steel ring. Okay, another pair of quality work boots. Okay, we already read that one. Oh, I can actually see if there's anything actually valuable. Nope. Not even slightly. Actually, let's go ahead and just use the magic potion. Not like too much fun in not using it. Get a free red chest. Mage Spur, which we already have. We got like a bunch of those already. Yeah, let's get some more defense. Yeah, some more defense, attack, and defense. Why don't we actually take... Yeah, no damage from slimes now. Actually, at this point, I think we can probably turn the fast combat back on. Because we have a good idea of what everything can do right now. Be fast. How about you guys? How much you do to me? Still 15, which is kind of annoying. You guys do nothing to me. Ooh, stat jump. Uh, I don't see anything valuable on that side yet. There's a red chest over there. Uh, I guess it would be good to actually gauge the... Well, actually, we might not need to fight a scorpion. Do. Let's sneak in a heal real quick. We're at 4 th or 435 HP. Well, that could be worse, I guess. We lose 40 HP per scorpion. Not really much to anything else right now, so yeah, that's actually a fair trade at this point. Okay, we lost 60 there. Shiny Steel Gauntlet, we already have that. Alright, never mind. Not as useful as I had hoped. So 40 to 60 HP for the Scorpions. That's definitely not worth it. Uh, no. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the ones that's required. For stat gems, for magic, which we're really not using. Oh! That's a person. Let us save the person.
Hello, person. Ah! Oh, you're not a monster. I mean, to be fair, I do kind of look like one. So I, I went in the cave and got lost. Do you think you could give me your wings? Uh, I kind of don't want to, but sure. Thanks a lot. Here, take these shiny rocks I was collecting. Oh! Okay. Stats are good. Oh, we got armored goblins now. And yeah, buddies are still playing. Steel boots. Uh, right, yeah, right now it's still not any better. Oh! Okay, that these guys kind of hurt. And it wasn't really that worth it. Okay, so now the things I gotta try to find another magic wing. Don't know the odds of that being successful. Bronze Defender? That's actually kind of a cool looking shield. Basically, a tower shield. I'll take five. Uh, you should do zero to me now. I should do at least less. Yeah, mark it. Maybe I'm trying to at least get some more chess. I get some more wings. More defense. I did not mean to fight you. I made a grievous error. Uh, where are the stairs? Game, please be nice. Oh god, why? Uh, we are using this. Oh, we have to fight one anyway. Okay, well, we're definitely using that so we have a chance of not dying. Uh, and I can't do anything. Eh. Oh my god. Uh, we have a fine steel helmet, which is overall, I think, better, because that way we don't worry about, uh, Elemental defense having to come into play. Okay, so I think the slimes do no damage now, right? Yeah, slimes do no damage. We can still fight them. Uh, we're gonna lose all our progress. I can tell that right now. Uh, I wish that actually helped. At this point, I think we're better off with attack. I won't help by a great amount. Uh, yeah, let's... More defense. I was afraid that'd be the last one. Please have wings in you. Uh, damn it. Okay. So, we're dead. There's nothing I can do about it. Let's at least get some more experience if we can. Nothing I can do about it. Oh, we... mm hmm. But we even lost like all the bonus stats too. I think that sucks. Better, better about giving out or giving out my wings in such an early area. I wish we could keep at least something in that case. It doesn't feel as bad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we didn't keep any of our levels either, right? Oh, we didn't keep any of our levels. That is a complete loss. Harsh lesson has been learned. At least we can still annihilate everything here. I'm also going to pay a little bit more attention to what kind of chest I get the wings from. Like, what if it actually does, like, matter in the long run. Spark ring. Do I need to manually 
equip that? I do. More fire enchant, which is better than nothing, I guess. Okay, so I guess they come from the green chest, theoretically. Which is really sucky, because those are the def definitely the rarer chests. Remember, kids, when someone asks you to give you or ask them to, or ask you to give them wings, just say no. Yeah, I try to build a way back up to everything. Yeah, we lost a lot that run. I'm guessing it's also one of those things where once you have one pair of wings, you probably can't find another one. So for probably exactly situations like that, you kind of have to gamble yourself. Uh, I think it's just money over there. We'll just move on. Okay, so Fighters are doing damage to us again. Which sucks. Okay, so I guess you can re-get the stat points. Uh, let's, let, let's try to get up to, or back to the point where we're not taking any damage from spiders. That's nothing. I'm also not sure if the chest content is determined at the time you open it or at the time the dungeon is generated. Which is another kind of important thing to know. Even more spark rings. We already don't have, don't have enough fire damage. Max MP. That's actually not too bad. We can actually do more stuff with like magic and healing, especially. How much do you do it again? 14. Okay. They do die after only giving one attack, though, which is not so bad. Uh, we can improve our boots. We don't have any shields yet. No, we do have a shield. Now they do 10. Uh, we know that's the way to the stairs, so let's go down this way. Stats. Cool. Magic, okay. Yeah, let's move on. It's not worth the time to walk back around. Give me defense, please. Sweet to fire, right? Okay, it's the spiders. So it's definitely good against spiders. Go 
broadsword, and the mage shoes. Better for shields. I guess we have two currently or three for defense on shield. Three, yeah. I'll pass on that for now. Not another broadsword. Yeah, it's worth it for the stat jump. Okay, you're actually still doing a lot of damage. I need to not fight you. Guys. Okay, you only need three now. But I'd say you're actually worth the XP. Especially when I get more defense out of it. Uh, speaking of defense, and more defense! Yay! Yeah, I'll go through you. Yeah, you do nothing now. Ah, uh, there's decent stuff down there. Let's do it. There's kind of something we need down there. No big ladder under the stairs. And this chest. Which we don't really need. More st we need a lot of MP this run. Uh, I think we still take too much damage from those to make it worth it. <clears throat> More ship. I'm not even really looking at where the drops are anymore. I'm just picking everything up just to plan to sell later on. It's, it's always worth it for the stat gem. As long as you know you can get out of the dungeon alive is when I should is the clarification I should give for that. That's a lot of health potions. I think it's still, yeah, it's not being worth that. Uh, yeah, I want that. Also, we didn't, didn't take that much damage, actually, which is kind of nice. In that case, let's check this guy again. So we take 14. Okay. Not too bad. Yeah, we got the scorpions again. Do the salamanders or the slimes do more damage? Theoretically, the slime. Oh no. Yeah, but base damage is slimes. And we don't have any fire resistance, so yeah, they're basically. Yeah, they're basically about equal right now, I think. It does give access to two, ch two chests, so why not? magic hammer, so I'm gonna have to fight the scorpion. Uh, let's do some killing first. Right, two. So about 60 HP lost on the scorpion. Ooh, chainmail gauntlets. Uh, not much better, actually. Yeah, that should be about it for this level. Spiky ring, health potion. Please give me stuff I want. Ooh, kite shield. Got me for combat, damn. So three turns into. 
Eight. Nice. <laughs> One from the slimes now. Four from the salamanders. Still a decent chunk, but not nearly as bad as it was. I didn't realize I was a salamander until it was too late. I think we actually should be good to start doing some crafting. Uh, let's... That's about the shield. Oh, we haven't updated our armor in a while. That's kind of bad on me. Uh, let's go ahead and buff... Actually, we got plenty of mage now, this is. Yeah, let's try to buff three things. I don't know if we actually can do that. I don't think we have enough MP for that. Ingredients. I can't do a chunk of amber. Oh, no, I can. Why? Oh, probably because it was at the end. Yeah, because it's a little visual error. Empty attack. Bleed? Hmm. Not sure exactly what the bleed does, but we'll try it. Ooh, HP regen. Gimme. Do more vis- ooh, actually even more HP recovery. We might be able to actually cheese this out. And the other one was a shield I think we are trying to do, yeah. What else do we have? Well, let's go for more... Let's do MP and attack, I guess. Oh, okay, now, now I don't have mana. But, I do have MP potions. Cool, so I can actually do that. So, back to the shield. That's the reason. Viscous Goop. And Loganite. There we go. Now, equip our fancy shield. Equip our fancy shoes. And equip our fancy longsword. Or broadsword. Now we got all sorts of uh, HP regen. Okay, so I'm guessing that's at the end of combat you would generate that much, so... Yeah, fighting the right enemies, we have basically good MP re or HP recovery. Which I approve of highly. I think the Salamanders still do net damage to... Ooh! Tattered Cloak. Dirty old Wizard Cloak still holding some enchantment. I guess that's one extra MP, and then a whole bunch of other stats. We we lose one defense, but we get, like, everything else. I will take that. Actually, it gives us some fire resist, too, I think. Let's go ahead and try these guys out. Okay, it's still a net loss, but not by much. Oh, we get MP regen. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. You are not getting my my wings. I'm letting you know right now. No. That's what happened last time. No. I guess we have to go through you. We have some regular guys. After this, you get to the stairs. actually got the same magical enchantment. Hmm, which do I want? For now, I'll go with the Mage Helm, actually. Because that way, if I can get uh, more magic for healing, that'll save me if I haven't used potions. 
Why can I not select my healing? Game, you're concerning me. Okay, so that just activates it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why it won't let me select it with my controller. Oh, I see a stat gem. Give me a stat gem. Also chest. Max MP, that's nice. Katana? Uh, it's actually... Well, okay, once we start a new run, that'll... Ooh, wind attack, actually. That's kind of cool. Yeah, once we start a new run, that'll be cool, but right now it's actually slightly crappy. Uh, let's go ahead and get the pick just because there's a chest there. Bronze Defender, which we already have magical enchantments. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. Plenty more free HP and MP. Yeah, let's keep focusing on defense for now. This is basically the run purely on defense. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go for a crit chance right now. This crit chance is actually kind of nice. Chaucy, yeah, we already... Ah, uh, that does... Actually, the seal Chaucy is kind of better right now. We don't have to worry about the elemental part being part of the necessary defense. And lots of HP now. Ooh, I want to go for the red chest. Goblin shield. Okay. Once again, we'll be good once we actually start a new run. I don't know if that's worth it, so I'm going to just skip it. Okay, there's a pickaxe. A potion. Is that a frog or a toad? Or like a turtle? Swamp toad. Oh, that's a lot of attack. And no weakness, weakness either. Definitely not fighting that thing yet. to fight him. I'm not really, really seeing any other reason to do so, so let's get that. Hey, another shot. Oh, junk. What do you have for weapons now? Mage knife. <laughs> Basic broadsword, yeah. Nothing really too fancy for weapons right now. Oh, that gives fire defense? I missed that before. Mage Helm, you already, already have something along those lines. Tattered Cloak, we already have the Tattered Cloak. But I'm using it for the MP regen, so we'll keep that. Little Chaucy. Okay, we already have exactly that. Jungle Sandals? What's the 2%? I don't know what that does. Not currently worth it. Channel Gauntlets. Not also not currently worth it because I don't know what that ability actually does. Ring of Riches. Okay, yeah. Usually, or usually comes in pairs, but not this one. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just go with what we have now. Can we actually sell? Yeah, we can sell those. Uh, we'll keep one to deposit back in the museum because I think we don't have a copy of that yet. Okay, that's for all these things that I have. Alright. So one of those. Nothing else we really have duplicates of right now, so. Alright. So we should be good with that. Oh dear. No matter what, we're fighting a frog. Oh good lord, that's none of this path looks good. And one pickaxe isn't gonna do anything. Let's go the way of the, oh, the stat gem, at least. Okay, 
has like 98 HP of damage. I don't approve. And that's also 90. You. Uh, okay, so. I think this is worth it so we can get access to items for like a lot less HP damage. I mean, potion isn't bad. It's probably gonna be kind of a lifesaver. As if we don't do, or we don't get to keep these anyway. We lose them up. Okay, so what are you? Your stats. About the same amount of attack, but with some elemental stuff. They're about the same as Swamoto, just basically different attack elements. I don't see anything useful down there. I do see a satchel up there, so I want to go for that. Now, just see how they actually fare, or, fun, or how they fare in combat. Okay, they're actually kind of slow attackers, so they're not, not as bad as they look. Further down. Ooh, I see secret. But I cannot yet get to secret. Oh, I think that's actually reasonable for this current setup. Ooh, lots of gems. Day 60. Over months since my last entry. I've been very busy. The energy from the farmer's soul has proven more powerful than I had imagined. I can shift the walls of the cave, create gold and silver tools and weapons from rock and dust, and use the corpses of existing creatures to conjure new ones loyal to me. I must get more somehow. Fungus hell? Excuse me? Fungus hell. Strange fungus grows on top of this helmet of... Oh, I love that mono region. I am equipping this forever. <clears throat> Freaking 4 MP regen. So I kill one of these guys now. Ooh, a dodge. Yeah, 5 MP regen. That is very nice. Uh, is there anything else I can go that's useful? Ah, green chest. which actually doesn't heal even the amount, the amount of damage I just took. So that was unfortunate. Uh, we can still keep going. So we got a good bit of left, or that's all stuff we can do. Uh, we're not going to take too much damage from these two, so... Oh, nice, it didn't take any damage from that one. Another bronze defender. Get there without too much harm to myself. That's gonna be the question. Actually, I have almost a full MP, so I may as well heal. I'm starting to doubt my ability to be able to get through all this. Actually, I suppose, yeah, we have, we have plenty of MP. Now I do kind of want more magic, so I can do more healing for cast. Of course, as I say that, I have a chance to get increased my magic, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to give myself more attack. Actually, yeah, a lot more attack and some critical. Right stick to choose which slot to equip this to. Okay. 
Ooh. Defense and a lot of elemental defense. Sweet. Oh yeah, so we can actually use this apparently just go right into the next floor. Oh, so it's like a... Okay, it becomes an auto walk. Okay. I thought I was just gonna be like, here you go, next floor. But apparently not. Still kind of a nice quality of life feature, though. I probably shouldn't have fought that guy real well. Silver Cutlass. With magic. What kind of magic? I don't know what that is. I'm guessing that's a dodge chance. We would lose some defense. We would get... We'd keep our bleed. We'd lose our healing. But we'd get more attack. Honestly, we have enough healing kind of coming from other sources now, so I'm actually fine with that. Oh, and especially when I crit on the first attack. We can just annihilate them. Ooh, large magic potion. We got two of them even, nice. Ooh, there's a snake in their way too. Less damage, actually. Huh. But you're kind of a fast attacker. That part's unfortunate. Uh, ooh, there's a red chest. Give me the red. Fingerless gloves. 4% critical. Uh, yeah, that's better right now. Such a goodie down here. But yeah, I still can't he select my healing for some reason. I don't know why. Mage knife. What does that do exactly for reference? Okay. Uh, we'll just move on. Oh, hello. Boss can't run. We need to fire. I think we still do a decent chunk of fire damage. Uh, I think we have enough MP and potions we can pull this off. Defense. 
Actually, we haven't really spent our skill points yet. I bet. Oh, okay, I guess we just get now got them. Uh. Let's get the quick win. and some more bleed. You know what? I will take that. I don't think there's anything really worth trying to get to on the other side. I mean, there's some stairs, but... Chainmail Chossy. Yeah, we don't have anything fancy for pants right now. Precisely crafted with a lot of protection and great movement. Oh, you're gonna ask me for my, my weight. Ooh, fine helm. Ooh, do I want to lose the MP regen though? Is it gonna make it worth it? Not really. That's actually a lot of defense though. Well, defense. Uh, let's try it for now. Cause yeah, a lot of defense. Oh. Hello. I wasn't expecting to see someone else here. I'm researching this cave and would love to bring out some samples to study, but haven't found any wings. No. I may have found a good set I can do stuff with, but no. Uh, day 75. This gold and silver I'm able to create. Worthless to me, but valuable to others. I think I can use their greed to my advantage. Lure them in with riches. But how to make it not an obvious trap? I need to think more about this and soon. I've almost used up all the power from that farmer's soul. Turtle. Ancient Tortoise. A lot of defense, but not much more attack. I feel like his attack speed will be, like, super slow. Kind of moderate for overall damage. Uh, I think you're better as far as like damage received. Yeah. More defense. More stats. Large magic. Okay. Oh, nice. You only do like one or two damage. Okay. Good to know. I'm definitely farming you though. How about the frogs now? Okay, frogs are also pretty low in damage. I would have to go through another one of these guys, actually, let's do some healing. I think we're only down to like one or two MP regen at this point. Yeah, one. And we'll go shield. I think we already have something technically better. Uh, honestly, the MP regen is more valuable than the HP at this point. Attack is not really going to help us that much. Plus, it gives us a lot more defense. Yeah, five more defense plus some element resist, so yeah. Uh, let's see if we can get some more quick XP. Oh, they, they do a lot of damage still, though. Oh no, they don't, never mind. I was looking at the wrong number. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head down. That should be our new checkpoint. We sell junk. What do you got to sell? More vine rings. I put interest in your leggings, not in your armor, not in your helmets, not in your shields. Yeah, nothing of real value here. I mean, potions maybe, but eh. Yeah, I kind of 
mostly just like farming XP at this point. Night gauntlets, health potion, viscous goop. Oh, well, those are new enemies up there too. Uh, let's move on. Might not have a choice in this level. Okay, so, yeah, let's find out how much these guys can do. 40... Oh, god. They're actually kind of tough. Mainly because they're mostly tanky. Despite not really having, like, corporeal bodies. Ooh, I didn't want that chest up there, though. They're not doing as much damage now. That was actually not really what I wanted. Uh, yeah, we'll just move on to the next area. I don't think we're gonna get too much more value. Ooh, I see secret. Ooh, level up. Uh, let's get more defense at this point. And then here, we can get defense and health. Actually, let's do a little bit of a mixture. We need 120 HP for that one spear down there. Don't get anything else valuable elsewhere. Silver Sapphire Ring. What does that do? Okay, just pure ice protection.
Which does make me wonder how much damage the the ghosts are gonna do now. Also not so sure I wanna find out. So still more up above. Not much actually, but what free XP. I think I'll leave the dragonfly alone since he does actually still damage me a little bit. I don't see a point in going up there right now. Point going down there. Right, let's see how this works now. Okay, that is infinitely more reasonable. And more attack, nice. Nice, whole bunch of crits. Sink sword? What does that do? Okay, 36 attack and some elemental. Uh, yeah, I'll stick with the great sword. But no, I think these guys hurt kind of a lot. Okay, they, they still hurt, but not nearly as much. Which is a trade-off I'm willing to accept. So our sapphire. What does that do again? I don't think it did much. I think it was like the ice resist. Yeah, that was ice resist. I don't think we fought anything that actually has ice damage yet. Out of curiosity, what what the materials do I even have right now? Is there anything that gives me an MP regen? I don't think I do. There's an HP regen. Okay, two things give me HP regen. Magic attack, earth defense, ice. Um, I'm not worrying too much about the crafting right now. I don't think this one's gonna be going necessarily a lot longer. Well, I guess it could, given the way my unicorn has been progressing. Troll poop. That is officially an item. Uh, yeah, more defense. Now we can get more defense and a little attack. So we can, or not MP with magic, so we can do better healing. I see a secret. I see a stat gem. I see really fun things. Oh, why not? That's what life. That, that's worse than what we have. Blue jungle berries. Mage gloves. Is that actually helpful? I mean, maybe. I'm a 4% crit from that. Ah, uh, you know what? MP regen. Kinda nice. Day 160. It's been a while since my last entry, but I need to reflect. Two. Two souls so far have banished me from greedy explorers. They all die from creatures, too. I didn't have to do it. It's so perfect. I need to refine the enchantment on the cave so that it's self sustaining. I want to spend my time studying and experimenting. I'm actually done with this level yet, so... Two. More attack, that's nice. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be valuable enough. How does... Okay, we 
still take a lot from the spiders. Yeah, it wasn't quite worth it. Okay, good. They're still they're still weak or not weak enough to do zero damage yet. Fractal cabbage. Get a burn, I'm gonna check something real quick. Okay, so it is still strong. I just had a strange feeling that I need to check to make sure the game is actually visible on stream. Even though I know for a fact I saw when I was testing earlier. All those kind of random paranoia things you get when you're on a streamer. You don't even guard anything. Better. I mean, 3% money is actually not all that useful because I really don't see a use for money outside of like the, the shops, and even then I don't really buy much. This was something in the town we actually have access to at some point. But I don't know what or when that would be. Maybe it has something to do with like rescuing the people from these areas. Yeah, I think next run we'll probably start from floor 10 and hopefully run into that one guy again. We'll give him the wings early on. Then we still just like blow through everything until we find another pair. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. This gives me more scouting opportunities. Okay, not really worth it. I see stat gem. I do the boots. 
moves are kind of good right now because that's a lot more defense. I'm not really worried too much about the magic. Yeah, we'll get one of those. Like gauntlets. No, not for the MP loss. Okay, so we got well, I think we got boots. I think the Giants will do, will do no damage now. No, they'd still do some damage. Ninja Glove. Not expecting much from these. Some dodge and instant kill chance, it looks like. Be kinda cool, but yeah, again, we need the MP regen right now. That's mainly our main method of uh, survival. Your eyeball? Icy Eye. Well, that is a lot of ice defense, good lord. Weak to fire, which I think we still have some fire attack. Yeah, like two. Uh, let's go out to stuff we know we can easily kill. Without too much harm to ourselves. Uh, let's start going some more attack. Pristine Gold Ring. It's literally just defense. Not great for combat, but it is very valuable. That is actually a good amount of money, to be fair. Uh, let's go to skills. I think we can finish up the, um, yeah, we finished up this tree. Oh! Oh, so we can just, like, infinitely put points into these. That's kind of cool. But yeah, let's, uh, try to focus on getting other stuff set up. I don't think any of these increase MP regen, probably. Or spells. Yeah, it'll be all spells and, yeah. Let's go some stuff this way. This should make our potions and magic increase stuff like that better. Ooh, item drop chance. That's actually cool. Potion duration I don't think is going to do anything, because we haven't really even looked at the other potions yet, but... Yeah, it's at least a start. Uh, I do see a chest over there, and the only way I can get through there is through the... Also, I see a stat block. I want a stat. 120 damage in that thing. Good lord. Uh, I didn't actually want to fight that thing. Explosive vibe. Singing sword. Set gems. Oh, not if I beat the last one. Yeah, magic pickaxes aren't currently being useful, but we want to find like a really bad section we can actually dodge with the one that we have. Like that's some magic on it. Crit rate. Ah, uh, you know what? That's actually kind of better. We'll go with that. Uh, I don't know if there's much... Yeah, it's not, not really worth finding anything else here. Let's move on. Explosive Lime. Health Potion. Boots, or step ups. I also like how if you can kind of at least like properly plan out your, your entire round and stuff like that, you can actually go a lot further than you would kind of normally or normally be able to. So it does actually reward strategic play. Ooh, I want the green. I probably shouldn't go for the green, but I want the green. Magic potion. We. Okay. Make sure that I did something like a flash of a uh, secret room or anything. Probably gonna be nothing of value down there. Wait, where are the stairs? Oh, there are the stairs. Oh, 
Nothing. Ah, we could actually stick away up to that uh, chest. Just like this. Thief leggings. Uh, I'm guessing that's item drop chance. A little bit less defense. For money, eh. I'd rather stick with the night chassis for now. Oh, there's another guy there. We're not gonna save him, but there's another guy there. Okay. Uh, not worth... Yeah, I don't think it's worth it to go for those quite yet. We're still taking a good bit of damage from everything. I will go with the free... XP for you, basically. Now we have to kind of, we kind of have to go against you. Oh, that's a good 100 damage. Ah, that's kind of a freebie there. It's only take like maybe 8 damage total from this guy. Plus what we dodge. Penguin feet? What are these ingredients? Ah, uh, yeah, get that. try to do some stuff with. So we're going to be losing kind of a lot of this thing anyway. What all do we have here? I'm assuming the stuff far to the right is more recent and higher quality. Uh, defense and ice defense. Magic dark attack. HP, HP regen. That's actually kind of nice. Okay, I like how we actually get the, the base equipment stats on top of or do we? Wait, HP, MP, enchantments for potions only? Oh, we do have to pick. Okay, that's unfortunate. Ah, uh, yes. Go with that. Then. Oh, I start off. Or start us off way back to the left again. Now the thing is, does this is actually like permanently change the equipment, or is it just temporary? I'm not sure on that part. And what else? Actually, what else would I even want to replace? Now let's take out the great. I'm glad I randomly mashed a button and got the escape button like right away. I was not prepared for that. So ingredients for this one. Dark attack. Okay, that's actually yeah. We'll, we'll go with that for more attack. And then I don't think uh, HP bonus is really all that useful at this point. It's not for the amount it would give us. Decent defense. MP regen. MP regen. It's only one, though. Yeah. Ah, critical hit chance, maybe. 
But everything's better for, or like, higher rates. Probably not. Yeah, so critical hit chance. Yeah, I'll go with that. Damn it, we don't... Oh, 1 MP up. Okay, so, in that case, get that back equipped. Get our MP regen. Then we can enchant. Unequip that again. I really did not equip the right thing. There we go. Great sword. So then we had. We had the critical hit chance. Then we had the... What was it that gave us, like, a bunch of attack? Explosive line. Crit chance. There we go. Alright, so then... Like that. Yeah, we'll just stick with that for now, because we can't really enchant anything else anyway. Uh, we should... Okay, we can do that. Should be able to... Yeah, we can easily take you out. More HP. Cozy Steel Armor. I mean, there's probably no reason to not equip it. Yeah, there's no reason not to equip that, especially with the uh, guys with, like, ice attacks. I like how it's suddenly, suddenly taking more damage than the golems. Not sure how that works. Like, Chaucy. Uh, I think we should be fine. Okay, we're fine. Must have had like a lot of earth defense that I got rid of somehow. Night shield for 30. Ooh. Yeah, give me that shield improvement. Actually, here. I think I have the best like gear for both right now. Silver boots? Oh, that's an improvement. Okay. Yeah, nothing down there. I don't want to fight the mage. Uh, yeah, let's just move down. Oh, those things are new. Uh, fight you to get some MP back. Not gonna do a lot for us, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Get some free loot. Thick hide Oh, we got to go through here. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just move down. I don't think we can make the 450 before I'm going to leave, but at least want to see how far we can get. Also, stat gems. Silver armor. Uh, not actually any better. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Actually, it wouldn't have been that hard to kill him. Now that I'm actually looking at the damage he did. Uh... Yeah, let's just take, uh, take the safe route and leave now. We got a whole bunch of stuff. 15 defense gained out of all that. Nice. Okay. I think there's actually, yeah, more people in different things. Ellipses? Hello. I've heard of some beautiful rings being in this cave. I'll trade you some rare gloves if you can find one. I'm guessing I don't have that one. Bark ring. Yeah, I'm guessing we don't have that, because I think she would have commented on it otherwise. Yeah, that's a different one. Hey, I'm selling an obsidian shield. Okay. I guess we can actually do, like, trading and stuff like that. I don't know why you're mute, though. You... Okay. I came here last year, and everyone was, was so much more cheerful then. Okay, same thing. That's a nice fire dagger you have. You're willing to sell itself for 300 gold? Uh, let me go... I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Well, let's deposit everything that we... Okay. First off, let's... See if we... Let's see if we can buy anything else first. In this cave yet? Having second thoughts of what's going on lately. Three people missing. And only one of those has been me. 
Nope. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything new out here. Potion with them, but I can't get them out of the cave. If you can figure out how, I'll definitely reward you. Intriguing. Alright, so I think that's all the potential trades we can do, so let's find out what we can actually equip ourselves with. Okay, so the enchantments do stay. That is good to know. Alright, so I should be able to donate my other weapons. Okay, so we have an obsidian shield now, which is. I would definitely say better than what the other option is. We're putting this in the museum anyway, so we can get it back whenever we want to, I think. My chainmail, is the only one we have. Leggings. Yeah, definitely stick with that. No boots. Uh, yeah, we already have better there. So, yeah. Two more spark rings, which we... Oh, we already have a couple of these already, so... Yeah, we'll donate one. I just do... Okay, I just do this. Okay, so I can only donate one at a time. And the other ones I can just sell whenever. I wonder if the number of people missing is basically like the amount of runs I've done. I think I've done... I think that includes my death, though, so I don't know if that actually fully counts or not. Maybe it does. Let's go in. We'll start at floor 10, I guess we can try to save that, the first guy. If there's any, like, net benefit to it. I'm sure we'll just, like, annihilate everything. If oh my god, that is annihilation indeed. Like, I'm kind of guessing that maybe, like, the outlook of the town is better when you start saving people. Those are, those are escape wings. Now I just need to find the guy. Which should be fairly easy, because, like, nothing can even touch us right now. Look at that triple digit damage. I should have bought some uh, magic pickaxes at the shop before I actually went in. That would have been the smart play. Let's look for the guy first, just in case we can get another page wing from like one of these chests, like immediately. Hey, level up. Two more attack. Two points. Yeah, more effective potions for sure. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's gonna be a guy to rescue. Yeah, no. Okay, we got a pickaxe. Small potion of magic. Anyway. Yeah, I'm assuming the entirety of every map is still available without having to use a pickaxe. Makes it like quicker or such. Yeah, it looks like that's the case. Secret. 
Don't know guy though. Oh, I think we actually found the guy in like the safety zones. Maybe be in one of those at some point. Pickaxe. Goblin shield, that's a good one. But we already have better. Taking no damage, that's good. Well, the run where I'm especially prepared for that guy is not even showing up. How rude. Katana. Too much of a difference. Ooh, shiny. That's for equipping all relics? Yep, all relics. Nice. Anyway, you like this. Rod swords. I think that's everything here. Just to see if we can find the guy. Yeah, I think they're only in the green chest, but I want to make sure. Okay, so the frogs are harmless. Anyway, why you go shake? Still take. 
Oh, I think maybe that's the ring that uh, that one person wanted to trade for. So hopefully we'll find like a third one of those. Or maybe another ring that's just outright better. Quick sell. Pickaxes. I guess we can also get some potions. Why not? Oh, I just bought something I didn't want to buy, I don't think. Still doesn't really interest me. So we'll go with that for now. Chance to upgrade your attack speed either. That'd be another cool thing to be able to kind of go through. You know, it's only like, like each upgrade is like one frame at a time faster. Because I would still build up over time and be kind of cool. Ah, 
I should have saved that. Greetings, Mr. Sir. How you doing tonight? I see a secret. And the guy's still not in here. Regal trousers. Yeah, it's been a little bit. Oh, it's nice to have you stop by, though. A stone shoes. Yeah, that's decent. We'll take that. No worries. I, I, I just know what it's like to kind of be like distracted by other things for a while. Like, I, I know there's some shows that I, I like to watch. I haven't really been able to really watch much of lately myself, and I'm just kind of like, I kind of feel bad for it. But unfortunately, it's also kind of the way just human nature works. understand the mental energy for a bit. That, that's basically like every day that involves me like somewhat thinking about work. Basically, an Argonian. But yeah, officially, he's a demon. This was like the only non human sprite choice for this game. 
So it's kind of by federal law I had to make it for that reason. Or oh, finally getting things like that guy to do damage to me. How quaint. Yeah, like he's also very much uh, watching the bunnies run around outside. Like every, every time one just pops up, they essentially like, hmm. Yeah, that, that's kind of one of the unintended benefits of being up in the uh, the kind of dying area of my house for streaming instead of downstairs. That I actually get to look outside and see like little little critters run around from time to time. I, I've been in personal furniture for the past uh, thirteen years or so, something like that. Yeah, he, he is he is not a young. Finally a place where I can actually like reasonably rescue him and now I can't find him. But yeah, my ex and I had gotten Eddie uh, fairly soon after we moved down to Texas, a little over a decade ago. I still remember the, the day that my ex wound up actually like picking him up. He I was basically just coming out, out, out of work, I was walking to my car, I hear my phone ring, pick it up, and then uh, before my, my ex even has a chance to say anything on the phone, all I hear is and I'm just like, did you get a cat? And then more meowing in the background. And then he goes, no. But yeah, that, that, that was a fun day. We, we had our own little kitten again. Yeah, the basement has unfortunately not really had any progress because the, you know what you mentioned a little bit ago about not having like the mental energy to even do anything? That's basically been me for the past like, I actually want to go with this. So the basement has been in this, the current state it's been for I think about like a month now, and I've not had anywhere near the actual mine power to even think about like calling it the drywall at this point. Because they had to take away uh, some of the wall in order to make everything dry faster. So I still need to get in touch with somebody about getting the drywall put back up. Then I need to find a way to get the new drywall painted back up once it's uh, installed. Then I still have to get new flooring installed down there. So th there's still several steps that need to be done to actually get everything back in like normal. I just had not had the the mental fortitude to even start any of it. I, I think part of it is I'm also not sure how much exactly it's going to cost, and that's always been kind of a concern thing for me. So I usually can't hold off for that reason as well. Well, thankfully the the amount of drywall they have to replace isn't like like by physical dimensions a lot. Yeah, if I had to kind of guess what the actual square footage, probably like maybe like 20, 30 square feet worth of drywall. Which I imagine wouldn't be a lot considering like the, the total square footage of a lot of walls and, and houses, but... Yeah, it's also in the fact that it's also in kind of like weird sizes and... Not really weird shapes, but just like kind of... I don't know what the right, right way to phrase it is. But yeah, it's, it's just in a slightly weird orientation that it needs to be replaced. Let's go some attacking this time. And then... Yeah, since we're actually getting a bunch of potions now, let's make them even better at being potions. So the original issue was the fact that after... So there's I think there's a point where like we had a whole bunch of our snow on the ground for the entire winter. And then just out of nowhere, we got like 70, 80 degree temperatures. So literally all of the snow melted in the span of like half a day. And I think that kind of overloaded the way the landscaping set up to prevent the water from coming in. And that's how it kind of like seeped through, based on like the other side of the foundation, it kind of went underward and left like into the flooring to the point where we kind of got like our own little, little shoreline in the basement. That's probably the best way I can describe it. So we had all that picked up, we had to take up all the floor tiles, so we found out that the water had actually kind of seeped over the entirety of the floor in the basement, and not just like the, the one wall section. So that's why that, that that's why we actually had to take up all the floor tiling instead of just like part of it, which is kind of why I need to get new floor tiling in, in general. 
But yeah, so after that, I basically called up uh, some like landscape specialist or whatever, and they put this. I, I forget what exactly it was, but it's some kind of. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like a sealant, I think. They kind of like spray paint it over the actual like the cinder blocks with the foundation, so like nothing can get through like water-wise. They did that both for uh, parts on the inside of the house in one method, and then on the outside of the house in another one. So that should prevent any water from actually like seeping in as well. And they also got some like moisture protection things on the bottom of the foundation on the inside of the house. So if, if something does come in, it doesn't have a chance to actually like get under the floorboards anymore. Yeah, that's basically about the best I can remember about the details of how all that works. Yeah, it's kind of funny because like. Uh, I actually contacted like two different landscaping companies to find out what they were recommending for like fixes to the situation. The first company that I called basically said they'd have to like install these like these ginormous ass like pipe structural support things in the house, which would cost like I think I think he said it started around like fifteen thousand dollars, something like that. And not only would it actually like poke out through the ground on the outside of the house, they'd also supposedly need to like install I think it was like a sump pump within the inside the house as well which would also pop up from the floor because of the way the foundation was supposedly set up. And it's like every single bit of that just sounded like it was like way too much overdone and way too much over necessary. Yeah, because the first guy I had pointed out that like a couple like kind of, kind of like thin, I, I guess, like, maybe like hairline fracture would probably be the closest thing, but in some of the cinder blocks there was like a, a slight crack in some things. And he basically made it sound like the, 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 the house was going to be irreparably damaged if we didn't get it fixed right away. And if there's kind of one thing I've learned is that if somebody's trying to, like, tell you the urgency of getting something fixed, that they may not always necessarily be upfront about the reasons or even, like, the depth of the problem. Because when I had the second company come in and I asked him about the exact same situation, he's just like, eh, that's just an old house, I don't worry about it. Right after the, uh, the first guy was being, like, apocalyptic about it. And kind of one of the good things about the company that I did go with to do all those repairs as well is that they actually took down a couple of the trees out front that I wanted to have taken down anyway, so I kind of got like two birds and one stone done with that. How much damage do you do here right now? Eh, nothing unreasonable. I want to find that damn guy. I still have plenty of resources to actually be able to survive the rest of the dungeon without finding wings for a while if I need to. You doing damage? You, just, you actually do decent, decent damage, alright. Start using some of our magic. So I think we do have MP regen, right? We have at least two. We got three, okay, that's good. So basically every seven enemies is a free heal. Go get the money. Go get the money. 
me straight. Okay, go, go get the button so I can actually see my monster. out of the dungeon. I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to do that. Let's maybe I just find the guy inside the dungeon. That wouldn't actually make any sense at all.
course that gems, hell yeah. yeah. Always go for the stat gems. Never turn down permanent stat increases. Even if they buff stats, you don't necessarily want to buff. this guy in like random spots in this area so maybe he'll just be somewhere else but I want to avoid the blue eyeballs as much as I can they can still do some serious damage to me defense Good points. Um, what do I actually want to buff at this point? I'll get this first. Alright. No point in going to bottom left. There's a chest up there I can get now. Because I know there's no, no way to save. This doesn't look like this would be a save. Yeah, no. Yeah, those boots are gonna be infinitely better than what I got right now. I thought this was a 28 defense before, but yeah, I'll still go with it. Incredibly strong gra glass crafted by a forgotten tribe. Yoink. Definitely. Okay, there must have been elemental defense. That was preventing them from hurting me a lot. What did I have equipped before? Obsidian shield. 
Okay, so I did have like five elemental, I guess, but... I'm still not sure like what the formula is for how effective like elemental defense and attack is. I'm still not really probably sure how to gauge the equipment like that. That's a lot of green chests. I think it's magic, but still. It is uh, better healing. I think so. Oh, there's a guy. Okay. So let's use up uh, some of our magic axes. Why won't it let me... Okay, so I can use the right stick to do this. Alright, that's better. Here I come to save the day! Oh, health potion! Hell yeah, I can give you that. Here, I have a full health potion. Thank you. Here, take these. I don't need them. Okay. Wizard boots. Definitely more defense and... Okay, yeah, that that is perfect. Gives me more defense and my magic recovery back. Okay, so I guess that guy doesn't actually need to be saved, just needs to be healed a little bit. Okay, trying to figure out how you fare in battle. Oh god, you actually kind of hurt still. Oh god. for boots. Actually, yo, we just got boots. That gem. Okay, those they still do a lot of damage. I feel like they're doing more damage than they used to as well. I'm not fully sure why. I think it's two more attack gems. Yeah, screw the mage. Oh, that's HP, okay. Yeah, let's just move on. Yeah. Glad you're even uh, finding some good stuff, then. Uh, this room kind of sucks. Another gold ring. Uh, yeah, I want that chest. And I don't want to spend the pickaxes on it. Ninja gloves. Probably not going to be worth it. Yeah, not really. Yeah, not really so much here. Is that better than... Eh, not significantly better. Yeah, not really. I mean, then again... There's nothing that really deals wind damage, so yeah, let's go ahead and get the base physical defense. Uh, okay, this I'll use a uh, pickaxe. I... Okay. I should have thought that through a little more. Okay, each time their canes hit the ground, it makes me think that like it's like a little shiny hidden path. I have another reason to hate those guys. Oh, dear. Well, it gives us a use for our magic. Dodge, nice. Uh, you kind of have to go through you. And the voltage you don't really need. I do kind of wish you could like dual wield weapons in this game. Oh, now uh, Whiskers is also interested in the bunnies. They're, they're, both the cats are staring. Yeah, uh, Whiskers, my uh, my roommate's cat, his ears even kind of like folded back a little bit as he stares at the bunnies. Like, I will get you somehow. Yeah, 
Yeah, those guys deal zero damage, so I'm fine with those. Come on, magic. Swap to the other shield then. I think that actually might do better for us now, especially since it's more elemental. Uh, okay, let's do one heal. Then we'll see what he does. Yeah, he's kind of tank, which is like the worst thing. Ah, Eddie. Eddie does not know how to not use his claws. Mortimus Iron. Oh yeah, he actually does do damage now. Forgot about that. Control poop. Ninja glove. All the enemies are doing enough damage now where I don't really want, even want to try to go against them too much. Set gem. This is what I do have resources, I may as well use them. Yeti shield. That's definitely better. So ice and a little bit of earth. Should make the uh, the wizard guys a little more feasible to fight. Wolf gloves. Fourteen defense. Ah, uh, critical chance. Yeah, the five HP regen isn't doing all that much for me right now. Overall, it's basically two more defense, a little more ice defense. So I think overall it does work out right for this area. Like for boots. Nope, actually worse. You guys have an element? You do have elements, okay, so... Alright. Okay, that's actually much more reasonable. We're still taking a decent chunk, but not as much as we were. Oh yeah, fighting is actually a little more, more reasonable now. Okay, that was more damage than I thought you were doing. I guess it's these guys that actually have more damage now. Floor 50. doing that much damage to us though, so I think we're fine. Yeah, 14 is actually terrible. Silver Longsword. Decent chunk more damage. We'll probably lose some defense, but... The Light Element. Six more attack. Uh, let's try it. Or 
ninja gloves. I think that actually works out better from what the damage output is looking like. Should be everything. Oh, right, boss. Those exist. Uh, max that out. Uh, let's see what his stats are, just as reference. Okay, so he has no actual offense element, nor does he have any weaknesses. So, yeah, well, he does have resistance to ice, which I don't think we have any ice damage right now. No, we don't. So, yeah, we'll just uh, go ahead and give him some pops. Oh, he's not doing much damage to us at all. Easy fight. Hey, another Yeti shield. Uh, let's start doing some more attack. Wizard boots. Oh, we already have those. Ice HP. Frost ring. Ice attack and ice defense. I uh, don't really see anything being all that useful for a place. The other thing is giving us raw defense. Got more mimics. Ooh, we got new enemies of slimes. I think that's a basic chest. Yeah, it's not worth going through the new enemies for that yet. drop an extra damage. It's not for a lot less main damage either. Yeah, we'll take it. Anybody got to use a class? those aren't any better. Yeah, we would probably already check those. Yeah, not worth it. <clears throat> okay, try the new slime, I guess. Kills. Oh, they don't even do any damage. Easy game. <laughs> I see goo. This so we can get well. Actually, we don't really need the duration. We're not really using anything with durations. Uh, that's only one, right? Oh, it's two. Maybe we'll start going up here actually, so our magic healing can get better. damage with six bleed. A guitar with a hidden spring-loaded dagger. No, we'll take that. That's more straight-up damage.
I think Eddie's just trying to appear like not interested in the bunny for a while so he comes back out and then Eddie's like, ooh, bunny. Give me bunny. Wait, we never actually got a, a shortcut for floor 50, I don't think. Which would be unfortunate. There's no way we get shops on like every 10th level. We didn't get one in that one. It was a loss. I think we've already checked the frost ring, right? Definitely not useful also within an air well, I guess the ice defense would be nice, but the ice attack is completely useless in this area. And of course we get dry ice as an item. Oh, so you actually can tell the difference like So the mimics actually do have a little couple kind of pixel sized eyes. You can use to distinguish them from the regular chest. I kinda like that little detail. He wants to play this game, is just he, he wants to play Claws in My Face. That's what he wants to do. I know the Eddie's language all too well. Eddie, why? I'm trying to do a thing. Weak to ice though. We could set up ice attack, but okay. Well, we use this as an experiment. So no ice attack. We do about a 50s for regular damage. He is indeed, and he is purring happily. All right, so otherwise, so if we have two of these frost rings equipped. We're not doing that much extra damage, actually. Yeah, not really worth the, uh, the thing. We'll put these Titan Rings back on. Alright. Have a good night, sir. And thanks for stopping by. Oh, oh, what did we pick up there? I missed it. Uh, whatever it was, it probably wasn't anything new. I look forward to it. Ice Shard Helmet. I don't think it's gonna keep us with a magic recovery. No, that's actually a lot of ice stuff, though. Honestly, we got plenty of items, we don't really need the magic. Well, I'm still gonna use magic. We just lost some MP recovery. Okay, not much change there. 
Okay, that's definitely a noticeable change, though. More loot down here. Royal ring. Ooh, a little bit of everything. Uh, I'm gonna that with a pro ring, because we only lose one defense, but we get two attack out of it. Be like a stack gem mimic at some point too. That would actually be kind of amusing. Didn't mean to fight that guy, but oh well. of our MP recovery. I... Mm, I wouldn't like... You know what, actually, yeah. Like I said, we're not really worried about MP right now. I think that's still worth it. Actually, let's uh, try to do some stuff with some more, a more permanent gear. All the way to the right. Rochelle, Earth Defense, Ice Defense, Regular Defense, Magic, HP Regen. Which isn't going to be all that useful, honestly. Ooh, five. Nice. Oh, it also gives. Wait, is that MP Regen? I'm sure I'm actually reading that right. Oh no, that's just straight up MP. Never mind. So yeah, use that for the attack. And then... Okay, there's MP regen. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Now yeah, we'll take the two. We could make it an awful lot of attack though, but now we'll do some of this. Actually, one of that makes that shield actually better than the one I just equipped. I think it does. Yeah, it does. I, yeah, that does. Okay. Um, and then for... Okay, so we have helmet, boots, and armor. Helmet. Uh, that's not really close to that right now. Actually, we don't have any relics for those two slots. We do for this one, though. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and try to do something with the boots. I could just give him, like, even more magic recovery. 
But I don't know if that's actually really needed at this point. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Then put the good boots. I think that's the only thing we really did anything with, so yeah. Oh, new golem. I actually might be fighting against these guys by this point. No, they're still doing a decent chunk of damage. Okay, the mimics are doing like almost nothing. Well, let's check them out. Okay, they're slow attackers at least. Icy Breastplate. Okay, two more defense. Not as much ice defense, but some ice attack. Ooh, MP reject. Okay, we'll go with that. Well, 7 MP per, per thing now. Especially if fight enemies that don't do any damage, just pure gain. You guys still do damage, so... Bless you, so we'll fight you guys. Actual legit chest. Another icy press plate. They didn't have enough of those already. Gladiator Chossy. Uh, definitely more defense. It's MP and attack. I think the defense increase is worth it. Ooh, stat jump. I want stat jump. Meshi. Raw shield? Yeah, I already have better than that right now. That was a long ass name for material. Shiny Moon Moss. Oh, you're doing more damage. Somehow. Eh. Alright. We'll just keep going. Eh, I'll just take that right away. Thank you. Yeah, nothing over there. Yeah, those guys are definitely more feasible now. I'll take the damage loss with some de defense increase and dodge chance. The dodge chance in particular is nice. Yeah, I already have better than that. Uh, get the regular chest. Thing worthwhile there. I think we can just go around this way, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and take one of these. Because why not? Dino Skull? Recharger? Ooh. I like. There was so much MP regen at this point. Yeah, with 
one fight now. We regen. 12 MP. So, like, every other fight we do, we can cast a heal. That is kind of insane. As long as we're not taking, like, more than 100 damage at it. Basically about more than 50 damage on average per combat. We're nothing, we're doing nothing but uh, gains. Too bad it's not, or that one is not a relic. I would love to be able to keep that. <clears throat> Alright, need some more magic set up. That's, yeah, I think all these are just actual spells, except for the orange ones over here. So now we do more healing. I see breastplate. I want to say I do. I absolutely do. Okay. I probably missed a chest over here. Two chests. How dare I? And another chest, which is basically free, so why not? Balanced blade once used by an infamous bandit. Okay, that's actually a pretty good crit rate. I'll actually take the MP, the our MP regen loss over that. Look at all those crits. Ooh, new enemy type. Let's see how you fare. Oh, you actually hurt a lot. Regen. And enemies that do zero damage to me. stats. Like my actual uh, crit chance right now. Doesn't look like I can. Uh, here's my... Okay, if that's for this run. I can see my actual crit chance, though. Got a little bestiary of, like, all the things. Um, artifacts, magic... Yeah, I can't see what my crit chance is. That's like the one thing that's missing from the screen. Huh. I don't know why that of all information is missing. And of course, maybe each of these guys are on the path. Because why not? Oh, I was on the wrong thing. I thought I was on the heal spell. Hello? Hello there. I seem to be having some particularly bad luck and have not found my any escape wings. Ah! Uh, honestly, I do feel kind of good right now about my setup. Although I pressed A before I even decided to accept. 
But yeah, so shop, they sell junk. What do you got for stuff? So flat eight armor, bunch of everything. Not particularly interested in, in the rings. Bonlets and boots. Ah, uh, no, I think I'm good right now. I already have that. Wizard Tunic. I like how the Wizard Tunic does, doesn't actually do anything for like magic recovery or magic storage or whatever. Anyway. Uh, I mean, I could always enchant it with MP recovery. But then again, it's not a relic, so I would just lose it anyway. That was a little harder to really kind of decide on, actually. Holy crap, Ridmus, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. How, how was thine stream of thy current night? Oh, I'm so touched. I thank you for the enchantments. Although Eddie is also trying to incur many of his enchantments upon me as well. Die! You've enjoyed. Alright, so. Yeah, chill draws. Gotta love it. Yeah, I'm just kind of enjoying a kind of chill out myself with a uh, kind of roguelite RPG kind of game. Which has actually been going a lot better than I expected to for the, at least this past run. Yeah, it's basically kind of like a dungeon crawler. You can uh, slowly permanently gain stats by grabbing gems and leveling up and stuff like that. It, it's a really cool game. Yep, yeah, the first one was released on Congregate, the second one was actually like a full-on game release on Steam. I think it's, I think it's, uh, Enchanted uh, Cave 2 might be on Congregate, but it was like a, like a demo version. But yeah, the full copy's on Steam, and I, I am definitely enjoying it. You can definitely make some kind of busted combination of equipment, too. I'm pretty uh, trying to decide if I actually want to swap anything out of mine from the shop, but yeah, the shops usually don't have much of actual value, from what I've been seeing. Yeah, because I've got like 23,000 gold and nothing really spend it on. Actually, I suppose I can get some more uh, pickaxes and potions. No, I got enough money. Look at all the magic potions, too. Why not? And who are you? Look at all these fantastic gems. Want to buy some? Maybe? Oh! Oh, skill point gems, even. My god. Okay, you can literally buy your way to, to stat heaven. I wonder if the cost goes up for each gem you purchase. Because right now I could get like 40 gems. Which would be like almost plus 40 attack, plus 40 defense, etc. Oh, I'm very tempted. Um. Okay, so defense is kind of more the thing that determines how long you can last in the dungeon. And since we just sold off our escape wings, I probably want to get more defense right now. Okay, so the costs do increase as you buy them. Okay, we'll, we'll do the money efficient route and just buy like everything at the like, even rates. Uh, so if we buy five more of those, that'd be uh, 7,500 gold. We could still get a skill point as well. So why not? Yay, having use for all our money. So, skill points. Uh, let's bring that up to here. Okay, we just gained a lot of stats. anything. I don't actually know if I want to do that right now. I think we'll just leave that be for the moment. Oh, we got a new biome. So these guys should be... Yeah, they're still easy kills. Squish. There's, let's see how, how tough these guys are. Okay, I've encountered worse. Oh, stat gem. Yeah, like the, the little floating purple crystal over there, you can get, like, I think that is probably like an MP gain. Oh, you gain magic for that one. 
yeah, there, there's certain colors that link to certain stats. And then there's one, I think it's kind of like a, like a deep purple kind of color, where you can actually choose which stat you want to level up, which is always nice. Yeah, the, the basic plot is just trying to see how far down you can go and get, like, all the loots and stuff like that. And there are also a bunch of, like, kind of, like, secret walls in some of these floors that can give you a little bit of story about the person who basically created the cave. And you learn pretty quickly that they are not a good person. Or at least don't have good motives. For their actions. I haven't seen one of those secret rooms for a while, though, so I don't know if there's any, like, further story to actually get or not. Ah, I should heal. Already, I think I already looked that up. I don't think I really wanted it. Uh, yeah. I do want to explore more, and those like, looks like there's still a bunch left over to the side here. Plasma glass? Is that actually an equipment, or is that like a uh, ingredient? I think that was an ingredient. Yeah, that was an ingredient. We still take no damage from the slimes, which is good. Then we get some free MP recovery. And these guys do little damage, so it's still overall good to fight them. Which we had to fight this one. I guess I could have just used a pickaxe instead to get out of the way, but yeah. Uh, not really worth to go for that one. Nothing of value over there. Not too much going on in this area, it looks like. Uh, we'll go through this guy, I guess. Okay, yeah, nothing of value. Uh, do, 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 do. Golden helmet. That's a new one. Uh, it's a little more defense. Actually, no, overall, I, I say it's improvement, so we'll go with that. You give us less damage than the monk does, so we'll go through you. You get a chest. Another guardian ring. Uh, oh! Okay, so I only have to go through two of you. That's not so bad. Okay, there's max MP. That's just money, so I'm not worried about that. Oh! I see green chest. And I need the green chest. I need to get the my, my escape wings back. I just need to make sure I don't die. Because dying is bad. Escape wings, hell yeah. Yeti boots. I think we already had those from the previous floors, so we're not too interested in those. Health potion. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, is that gem? Hell yeah. That gem's plural. Oh, you're an enemy, apparently. Wisp. Oh, well, that has a lot of resistances. Okay, I like how he has resistances to the element that he's weak to. Uh, only five attack? Doesn't seem right. Oh god, that's actually a lot of damage. Holy crap. He's a fast attacker, too. Our reward is a blue angry teacup. Yeah. Okay, that's not a lot of MP recovery there, unfortunately. We do have a lot of potions, though. Okay, at least you're free, MP. We got a weapon, man. Seal Defender? Oh no, that's nothing really useful. Uh, not worth that. Let's see if there's anything actually useful, like, chest-wise, what we can see. Uh, I don't really know. 
Uh, so you get him with that. He's got attack speed and power, good lord. Oh, the secret. Get the secret. Blood ring. What does that do? Causes well, bleeding damage. Okay. I was kind of hoping to do something a little more than that. It's a good chunk of attack, though. Honestly, we'll swap the Royal Ring with that, because two defense isn't going to do much compared to, like, ten attack and five bleed. And actually, we should be able to get another piece of story here. Year seven. Wow. The last one, or last year we got was, like, day 180. An entire town has appeared just outside. And amusingly, they've also made a marker keeping track of lost explorers. They've been keeping the death toll under 1% to keep up interest. The Crystal of Souls glows with just over 250 souls by now. I've begun drawing out plans for my ultimate creation. A colossal demon under my own bidding to show the world my true power. I would need a thousand souls for this, however. Okay, this has been only a long-term project for this guy, good lord. So, 250 souls in seven years. Like, is we even assuming, like, an increased, like, rate of, like, soul acquisition order because, like, increased popularity? That would still be probably another, like, maybe... Well, yeah, it's about a quarter of the way. Probably, like, another, like, maybe another seven, eight years until he actually gets that far. I wonder how long this has actually been that he's actually been doing this. But anyway, I think I'm going to stop at this point because that, that kind of feels about the right length. It's, it's actually a little bit longer than I usually go for a Steam Library Tour game, but yeah, this is actually one I've been very much enjoying, so it is one I do recommend. I don't know if it's on sale right now. Uh, let me see if I can quick check that. Where's the refresh? Reload. All right, so this game is currently not on sale, but it is only ten dollars. In my opinion, this game is definitely worth a ten dollar purchase in my book. If you're interested in, if you're interested in playing this game, uh, there's no demo unfortunately, but anyway, like the past three and a half hours, you can, you can kind of consider a demo. So yeah, if you're interested in the game, just ten bucks. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident that you can have fun with this. But yeah, so with that, I'm going to call it for the night. Uh, nothing going on tomorrow, because I've got plans to cut... It's basically like every Saturday I have some kind of plans going on now, so I don't really need to do much of the, uh, the Link to the Past randomizer races like I used to. But also, next week is going to be a kind of slightly short stream week, because I'll actually be gone from basically like Friday morning, so there won't be any stream on Friday next week. But I'll still be streaming on my Monday and Tuesday, like usual. And then Thursday, I'll actually, I might be able to stream later, depending on how plans for Friday go. But we'll have to see what comes of that. But yeah, so with that, I will see you all on Monday at 6 p.m. Central. And until then, Eddie and I bid you all a good night.